there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha Ceres, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. <laughs> Jim Dandy, that'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up, clappers! Get yourself hit! No fuck-ups this time! You're the gift! Daddy's home! Take aim! Fire!
to Rhine Amusements. Please enjoy the park. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympia. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here he shouts to his I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusements. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> Kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. <laughs> We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one 